Welcome back. This is Alex with Flexbone 101, and today we're going to talk about the Rocket Toss, which is the first play in the Rocket Toss series. So very simply, if we bring up our basic formation, we're going to have our tail motion as per usual from our A back. You're going to see the B back. This play is actually going to go backside to fill in for that A back. The quarterback's going to reverse pivot and toss the ball to the A back. Now, ideally, this is going to happen outside of the offensive tackle, which makes us a really fast hitting play to the outside. So now we have to get into some of our blocking rules. So first and foremost, we're not going to block anything that's a five technique or inside. So for those of you that this is a new concept, I've labeled those techniques. So anything outside that offensive tackle we're not going to block, with the idea being that the A-back is going to receive the ball at full speed right behind there, and they'll be able to outrun any defensive lineman. Our second rule is that the playside offensive tackle has to dip and rip to the outside. So if there's a defensive end there, that offensive tackle has to make sure to get his head across and maintain that outside leverage. And lastly, the playside guard is going to pull for some of the same reasons, that it's easier to have him at the point of attack than to try to go forward on players who aren't going to make the play. Now, to show how this is going to be blocked against a 4-4 or a 4-2-5, our offensive tackle is going to rip to the outside. So like I mentioned, he has to fight to get his head across if that defensive end comes down. However, if that defensive end sneaks to the inside, he's now taken himself out of the play and doesn't need to be blocked. We have our A back is going to arc block to the outside, and then our play side guard is going to pull while every other offensive lineman scoop blocks to the second level. Showing this now against a 3-4, we'll bring that up. Our offensive tackle, again, really makes this play having to dip and rip to the outside. A back again is going to arc, and our play side guard is going to pull while everyone else scoop blocks to the outside. The idea being if we can get more people at the point of attack than they have while our A back is catching the ball at full speed, we'll be able to find a good crease for him to run through. So now the question is when to run rocket toss. So the first is it can be a constraint play for inside veer. If you notice that that pitch key keeps turning his shoulders on inside veer to the inside, toss is a great way that if he's planning on doing that again to get the ball outside of him, causing a big play to the outside. Secondly, is if the defense gives you a double eagle or a TNT look, which essentially means that you've got a tackle, a nose, and a tackle all inside of the offensive tackles. The idea being that there's more people inside than outside, so they have a soft flank. And lastly, if the defense is blitzing to stop inside veer, if they're really bringing the house to try to stunt and blitz uh, with their D linemen and their linebackers, anything inside is going to get washed down with the play going to the outside. So now let's look at what this play is going to look like in person. So I have this now in a tight formation, which is a little bit different, but that is a great way to help beat a defense to the outside if you're having trouble. So as per usual, we'll have our A back going in tail motion and receiving the pitch. We'll have our B back replacing him. Our offensive tackle, you'll see, is going to fight to the outside and maintain leverage. Our offensive guard is actually not going to pull based on what the defense has given us, and he's going to block straight up the field. And we're actually going to get a switch block from our wide receiver and our A back on that side, where the wide receiver is going to block down on the offensive backer, and you'll see the A back arc out to block the cornerback and create the lane. Marshall in the backfield. The toss into the boundary, and a first down picked up by Clinton Lynch. Hopefully you were able to see how that outside lane opened up for the running back and the team was able to get a first down on the rocket toss play. So that's all we have for today on the rocket toss. Be on the lookout for our videos coming soon and feel free to leave any questions, comments, or concerns in the comments below. Thanks.